Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the bootstrap sweep circuit. In the previous video, we have seen Miller's sweep circuit. So this bootstrap sweep circuit and Miller sweep circuit both are coming from the standard bootstrap and Miller circuit, bootstrap circuit and as well as Miller circuits. In the standard circuit of this bootstrap, we have considered this um, circuit diagram by making Y to the grounded. Okay, previously for the Miller circuit to design, we have made the Z to be grounded. Later, from that circuit, we have connected Y terminal to be grounded to make it as a bootstrap. Because of making the Y to be grounded, the separation of capacitance is done and the amplifier is acting as amplifier is having a gain, open loop gain of unity. Okay, that means whatever the input voltage, uh, input current appears, that will be exactly, input voltage appears, that will be exactly transferred to the output. That is the meaning of gain gain. So here also I am taking a uh, switch and now this circuit is going to be converted into a Thevenin's models like what we have done in the previous case. So this is the equivalent circuit for the circuit what we are going to do for the uh, bootstrap. See, these are the models that we have encountered when we are trying to design the equivalent circuit. See, this is the equivalent circuit of the bootstrap when T is equal to 0. And this is the equivalent circuit of the bootstrap circuit when T is equal to infinity. Okay, so this is the circuit what we have seen in the previous slide. So, a T is equal to 0 minus the switch was closed and so the switch was closed and vi is equal to 0 before g before t minus means we have not applied the input voltage we have not applied the input voltage since the voltage across the capacitor cannot change instantaneously so at t is equal to 0 plus also VI is equal to 0 because even if that even if the switch is closed the capacitor will not charge even if the switch is closed the capacitor will not immediately charge or discharge so even after or at the, you can say at T is equal to 0 plus capacitor does not change instantaneously so vi is equal to 0 there also okay and hence a into vi is equal to 0 this circuit we have considered this one first one this is all happens when vi is uh, t is equal to 0 okay so now at t is equal to 0 plus V0 is equal to minus V into R0 by R plus R0. Okay. So the output has the same value at T is equal to 0 minus and hence there is no jump in the output voltage at T is equal to 0. Hope you understand because the previous case t is equal to 0 minus and t equal to 0 t equal to 0 plus so these three cases will be having the same value because the capacity is not changing instantaneously okay even the time changes instantaneously but the capacitor will not respond now at t is equal to infinity at t is equal to infinity the capacitor acts as an open circuit we know already the capacitor acts as open circuit and the equivalent circuit is this one this is the equivalent circuit when t is equal to infinity so at this case write the kvl for this circuit let us write the kvl for this circuit so that it will be having write kvl v minus ir minus i into i plus a v i minus i into r naught is equal to 0. So, I am taking the current i 
flowing through this one then what is the voltage at all these nodes we are writing okay so take i common and v by r plus r not plus r i into 1 minus gain therefore v not at t is equal to infinity we can write it as v into a r i plus r not divided by r plus r not plus r i into 1 minus a so this is the resistance output resistance value need to be multiplied so we know the gain of this particular network a is equal to 1 and if r not is neglected suppose we have neglected r not then if r not is neglected then what happens r not is neglected then v not at t is equal to infinity is equal to v by 1 minus a plus r by r i okay so we know r not value is very very small compared to the remaining value of the resistors so since r not is very very less compared to r v not yet t is equal to 0 can be neglected compared to the voltage v not at t is equal to infinity so v not at t is equal to 0 can be neglected compared to v not yet t is equal to infinity because open circuit voltage is more compared to the short circuit voltage so v not at t is equal to infinity mi minus v not at t is equal to 0 is equal to v by 1 minus a plus r by r not r by r i we know slope error we need to calculate so always we are trying to give better slope or we can say linear slope linear value the capacitor has to charge linearly a steep response we need so slope error slope error es is equal to es is equal to see here we are calculating it it is for bootstrap es for bootstrap is equal to sweep amplitude sweep amplitude divided by total excursion of the output total excursion of the output this is what we are writing like uh, vs by v okay in the waveform suppose if you are taking any waveform like this okay this is from here to here it is vs this is known as sweep value sweep amplitude sweep amplitude is particularly meant for top value to the bottom value of the sweep the difference between the top value and bottom value of the sweep highest amplitude minus lowest amplitude is the sweep voltage total excursion of the output or we can say total amplitude is nothing but maximum peak value from the ground level this is v hope you understand the difference between these two so the same is written here now that is equal to vs by this value is given as 1 minus a uh, vs by v whole divided by 1 minus a plus r by r i so that is equal to we can write it as vs by v into Mm. 1 minus a plus r by r i this is again by of this one 1 by of this one okay in the denominator we will be having this one so it is v s by v into 1 minus a plus r by r i this is the slope error 
So, this shows that the slope error is 1 minus a plus r by r i times the slope error that we would actually want. Okay. Previously, we have got for the Miller circuit, again one more factor we have got here. One factor that is multiplied by Vs by V that is simply R i plus R by R i into A. Okay. Here we have got this is the factor, this is the amount of factor that has to be that is going to be multiplied with the original value of the sweep error. I will write here. This shows this shows that the that the slope error is one minus a plus r by r i times the slope error the slope error that would result if the capacitor is charged directly is charged directly from V through a resistor. Always we need a resistor for the capacitor to charge or discharge. Okay. So, this is the amount of factor. Normally, we should have Es is equal to Vs by V, but here we are having a factor that is the amount of this one, 1 plus 1 minus A plus R by Ri. This is the amount of factor that is going to be multiplied with the original value of Es to deviate the signal, to deviate the signal. Suppose if the gain value A is equal to 1, then this term A 1 minus A is gone and plus it is R by R i, R by R i. So, depending on this value R by R i, the slope depends. The slope is completely dependent on this particular value, resistance, input resistance of the amplifier and as well as the resistance we are choosing at the input of the, for the capacitor to charge. Resistance we are choosing for the capacitor to charge that completely gives the exact slope how much it should be okay and i will write that one also if yes a is equal to 1 the slope error could be having a factor of R i by R by R i R by R i. So we need to choose, we should choose this value to keep less slope error. Hope you understand. Okay, so this is about bootstrap circuit.